Guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and activate your Cloud Shell. First of all, just click on this Agree and Continue Terms. Click on Activate Cloud Shell. It will take a couple of seconds. So just wait for that. Click on Continue. Now just simply come on the task number one. Copy this command. Just wait for a second. Let me just increase the text size. Okay, now run the first command, click on authorize, scroll down, copy the second command and run the second command. Now copy the third command, just wait for to this command get executed. And it's done, now run the third command. Now this command is going to take at least 5 to 6 minutes, meanwhile you can do one thing. For the last command of task number one, just open your notepad, copy this command, paste over here, then copy your username, copy that and just make the changes over here like this and for the your name, just change with your name. Like this. Okay, now done, we have done with the last command also. Now just wait for to this command get executed and if you just simply search for the Kubernetes cluster and open this thing in new tab. And if you just simply click on this name from here you can just track down the progress okay so it will take around five to six minutes so just kindly wait for that time and then we will move forward the next task
and it's finally done now what you have to do just simply scroll down and if you remember we already configured this command so just copy that command okay and go back to your dashboard and just run over here okay so we are done with this and if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number two copy this command and run over here scroll down copy this command and run and then copy this command and just wait for this command get executed and it's done so run the next command and it's also done if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number three we don't have to run this command just simply come on this command copy that run over here just simply scroll and here you can see it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for this command get executed and when it's done you will get a score on the task number three also and it's finally done now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue if you didn't get a score no need to worry about that because lab take time to update the score okay now what we have to do okay as you can see we got a score now for the task number four what you have to do just simply copy this name do not copy that full stop okay and in the search bar simply search for the trigger okay and open this thing a new tab just wait over here click on this create trigger and paste the name over here like this cloud build okay now here please pay attention for the repositories click on that and for here just choose the first one called app okay hello cloud build app okay now click on branch and choose any okay now just simply scroll down and simply click on create so you have done with first trigger now just simply scroll down Make sure you have to run this command so just copy this command go back to your dashboard and simply click on and hit enter and once this command is executed you will get a score on the task number four and if you didn't get a score no need to worry about that lab take time to update the score okay now for the task number five what we have to do just copy this command go back to your dashboard and run again copy this command just wait for to this command get executed and run now copy this and run then copy this and run then copy the last command of task number 5 and run now just wait for this command get execute so it's done now if you just simply click on check my progress if you didn't get a score no need to worry as i said lab take time to update a score meanwhile you can just copy this name okay copy this name carefully again we have to create a new trigger so just simply click on create trigger paste the name over here and here please pay attention for the repository just choose the environment okay make sure for the deploy trigger we have to choose the repository called env okay now for the branch make sure you have to choose the candidate as a branch and just simply click on create okay so once you're done with this thing you will get the score on the task number five okay now before that just run this couple of commands so just go back to your dashboard and run the first command and then copy the last command of the task number five and hit run okay so once you're done with that if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score if you didn't get a score no need to worry about that lab take time to update the score now just for the task number six we don't have to do anything just simply come on the task number seven copy this command run over here then copy this command and run okay and it's done now just simply scroll down 
just simply click on check my progress let's see we got a score or not no need to worry let me just explain you why we are not getting a score if you just go back to your trigger and click on this history you can see the builds are still creating that's the reason we are not getting a score over here so no need to worry just make sure that you run each and every command of the task otherwise if you just forget to run any command you will not get a score so just make sure of that thing and once both the things will be done we will get a score for the all the tasks instead of task number eight because we what we have to do we have to just downgrade the version on the task number eight so just wait for to this thing to complete it after that we will do the last task and it's finally done now if you just come back to your lab instruction and simply click on check my progress for all the tasks you will get a score and if you didn't get a score no need to worry lab take time to update a score so as you can see we got a score for task number four and basically if you just simply come on the task number five and click on this check my progress okay most of the time this check my progress not give the score so yeah make sure of that thing if you didn't get a score no need to worry just wait over here okay now just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress let's see if we got a score or not okay no need to worry about that just simply scroll down and just check the remaining task okay we got a score but on the task number five on second part of the check my progress we didn't get a score now what we have to do on the task number eight just click on the second option of your history okay click on this second option and simply click on rebuild okay once this thing will be complete you will get a score on the last task okay so just wait for a couple of seconds now this thing is running okay now just if you just simply click on check my progress let's see if we got a score or not okay so just wait for this thing to be completed and it's done now if you just simply click on check my progress we will get the score on the task number eight as well now we have to just remaining with uh, this task and if i just simply click on this check my progress let's see if we got a score or not and we finally got a score so as i said lab take couple of minutes to update the score so no need to worry about that just make sure that you run each and every command correctly okay and as you can see we got 80 out of 100 80 out of 80 and that's the way we have to complete this lab thanks for watching and have a good day guys